Hello and good afternoon, ladies. I really hope that you are enjoying these little 10, 15 minute strategies that I've been giving you over the last few days and will continue until the end of the month to the 31st, which is actually, I think in a week. So today I wanna to talk about one of my most favorite, favorite things in online business, which is email marketing. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know I'm an advocate of email. This is really my jam. I have made the majority of my money on email. That's not to say that I don't use social media. It's not to say that I'm not on social media, but the majority of my sales have come from my email list and growing an audience in a community that's off social media and being able to make offers to that audience. So. The first thing that we want to understand is if somebody's on their on your email list, it's because they explicitly got on your email list, whether it was an event that you had or a webinar or challenge or they downloaded an opt in or a freebie. They actually raised their hand and said, I want to hear about this specific topic from you. Now, obviously, people may unsubscribe once they get what they want, but the reality is the people that are on your email list are very much targeted, whereas the people on your social media are not. And if we're looking at social media like Instagram, Facebook, these are all pay to play platforms, meaning unless you have a video that goes viral, which is pretty rare, you're basically just marketing to your connections. So the people who are already following you, the people who are already on your friends list, and it doesn't really create awareness in a bigger way unless you're doing ads or if you have some other marketing methods which i'm going to be talking about in a couple of days actually because we have some really really cool stuff um coming out about bringing awareness to your brand but let me get back on track so if you consider this then it, you're actually very limited in terms of finding clients, getting clients, if you're just using social media, if you're just posting on Facebook, if you're just posting on Instagram. Now, TikTok is a whole nother beast. I do feel like TikTok is created for people to create that organic awareness. So I am an advocate of TikTok as well, but in the same light, it's just a layer of your visibility. Social media is not your marketing plan. It should not be your marketing plan and it should not be the only way that you are marketing and creating sales in your business. So back on track, this is why email for me is one of the top things, especially as an online business owner, that you should be utilizing and leveraging and taking advantage of. So hopefully this message today, if you haven't been on that train yet, kind of gives you a little push to like really consider um, emails, funnels, and automated marketing as a way to increase sales and increase your community and be able to really help people in a different way. So the top five reasons, and there's many, but I whittled down to my top five reasons why I believe that email is better than social media. Number one is you're able to track your user behavior. So what does this mean? <laughs> what this means is if you put out a uh, email about a specific topic, if you put out an email with an offer and a link, if you put out an email asking people to reply back, you actually have tangible data as to number one, whether that person read your email, but also what did they do? Did that topic actually interest them? Did they open the email? Did they click on the link? One of the things I always do in any kind of launch or any kind of sale that I'm putting out is I always have a clickable link. And I know, and my email service provider tracks who clicks that link. So if I see the same person clicking the link over and over again, but not buying, I can reach out to that person. I can create a whole list of every person that has actually clicked on all of my links. So I know, okay, maybe some of these people are nosy, but the majority of these people are probably interested in what I have. So again, I can start to cater what I send out in emails and even personalized messages because I am looking at their behavior. Because I'm someone that does multiple different things, so I do some digital marketing things and products, I do coaching, and then I also do mindset work. So a lot of my 
uh, emails are different, you know, some of them may be talking about mindset, some of them may be selling a digital product, some of them may be offering coaching. So in that way as well, I'm able to really look at the behavior like somebody that's always opening and clicking on the mindset stuff. I can put them on a whole new list so that if I have a specific mindset offer, it can go to somebody who's very interested. You can't do this on social media. You don't even know who's clicking. You don't even know who's reading. And the amount of people that are actually liking your post is so small, which brings me to my next point, which is you get to cut through the noise. So I always hear all kinds of excuses when it comes to email marketing, like, oh, the open rates are low and, you know, I, I don't like email. Well, guess what? Email works. <laughs> it absolutely works. Think about the emails that you get, right? You probably maybe signed up for a restaurant or maybe you went shopping. Now you're getting their emails. The emails that you get, first of all, email is value. So when you're getting an email, you're getting value. Second is you're cutting through the noise. So yes, your inbox might get full if you're subscribed to a lot of different lists. However, just imagine that compared to your social media. Imagine if every post that everyone sent on social media like today was in your inbox right now. You would be so overwhelmed. You would just be like, oh my gosh, I can't even with this, right? But because the algorithm only shows people a small, tiny, 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 tiny percentage, you can actually cut through the noise by emailing your list. And you don't even have to do it every day. I do it every day, but you don't have to. Um, that actually brings me to my next point, which is you actually have to do it less. So if you actually have a email strategy in place, if you have funnels set up, if you have a way to communicate with your audience outside of social media, you don't need to worry about posting 10 times a day. You don't email 10 times a day. Some people don't even email 10 times a week or even five times a week. What if you were able to email very powerfully your list of people who already raised their hands and said, I wanna hear about this from you and you were able to get through to them because you cut through the noise and you were able to make them an offer and they were able to see that offer because the algorithm didn't hold it back. The algorithm didn't say, you know what, we're not going to show them this email. Um, good luck. <laughs> right? So instead of posting five times a day, 10 times a day, every single day and feeling like if you miss a day, you're behind. Imagine sending two to three powerful emails, strategic emails with offers to your list. I can guarantee you that you would make more sales. Because social media isn't for sales. However, email is. And if you don't believe me, look in your inbox right now. Every email that you get, whether it's from a restaurant, a store, um, a coach, or anything like that, it's giving you value and it's making an offer. Almost guaranteed that every single one is making an offer and people don't get offended by that because it's what it's, is expected. So instead of posting 10 times a day or 50 times a week on your social media, imagine sending two to three emails and actually making sales. That is the power of email marketing. So this also kind of goes into my next point, which it's just better reach. Like as much as people want to say the email open rates are low, um, they're not as high, like let's do a comparison, okay? I have five, almost 5,000 friends on Facebook. I have 10,000 followers, whatever the heck that means. And I've been averaging in the last one to two weeks about 10 likes and zero comments on my post. Apparently this is because some changes in the algorithm that we can't control. And also if you're on professional mode, apparently the, in, the engagement has increased or decreased. And really it's only showing people who are posting 10 times a day. I'm not about that life. Are you about that life? Cause I certainly am not. However, I can have a list. I think my list is about 6,000 now because we keep it very small. As soon as people aren't opening, we remove them for the list. We do our, our list cleans. So I have a list of 6,000 people. I average about a 30% open rate. So what that means is, I can't do the math right now, but between one and 2,000 people are, seeing, are opening my email every day. Can you say that about social media? Can you say that about any of the posts that you have posted in recent time, unless it's gone viral? That 1,000 to 2,000 people saw that post. 
saw your offer, saw the value that you were giving. So again, this is the power of social media, or this is the power of email marketing and why I'm so passionate about it. You have to post less, you get better reach, you cut through the noise, you get to actually look at your user behavior so you get to see what people are clicking on. If they're opening more than once, if they're clicking more than once, are they, you know, what topics they're interested in. And that brings me to my last point, which is data. Same thing as the user behavior. It is really like, what data am I getting? How many people are opening? Do I need to shift my subject lines? There's just so much data that you can get from your email service provider that no way in hell you're getting that from social media, even if you have insights and a professional dashboard, right? Like you're not getting the types of insights and data that is required to make the changes, right? So I know if I'm in the middle of a launch, and I'm, you know, sending out emails. And if my open rate drops, then I know to look at my subject line. My open rates still kind of stay around 30%, but let's say it dropped to 20% and it was consistently now 20%. Then I would be like, okay, why aren't people opening? Right? So that gives me data. Now, let's say I stay at my 30% open rates. People are still opening. No one's clicking then I know that there's something within the body of the email, within what I'm sending, within my promotions, that I need to shift and change so that I can get more people clicking. So guys, I really hope that this inspires you to take a look at email marketing. Really think about how you can create something different than offline social media. I'm not saying to let go of social media completely because obviously I still use it and I'm still on it, but it's just one piece. It's just one layer. So someone could get my email where I'm talking about, you know, my brand new offer money portal. And then, you know, they might see it. Okay, cool. That sounds cool. I'll check it out later. And then they go on social media and they see my beautiful branding for money portal. And they're like, holy shit. That's right. Let me go look at that email. Right. Versus the very small chance that the 3,000, 4,000, or 5,000 people that you have on social media are actually gonna see that post. And because the chance is so small, you have to post it 10 times, right? Every day. And if you skip a day, or go on vacation, or don't post three or four times, you know, three days out of the week, you get, actually, you get punished for that. I actually just got an email I'm on professional mode in um, Facebook and I got an email that's like, oh, you haven't posted as much. So, you know, your visibility is going to decrease. I don't know, some something like that. I probably should get off professional mode, but like the algorithm and social media is in control. When you utilize and leverage email, you're in control. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know which one of the tips below that you were just like really excited about. And let me know also below like, are you going to do it for 2024? Are you ready to really go all in on email marketing and being able to reach your audience in a powerful way and make offers in a powerful way and end the reliance on social media? Have an amazing day and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye.